Well, if you're like me, you've been waiting for a long, long time for a, an easy, usable solution for doing mail merging in Google Docs, taking data from a spreadsheet and being able to merge that data into a form letter in a Google document. And with the release of a new script called Autocrat, that has become much more doable. I'd like to show you how it works today. First, you'll notice in my Google Drive, you may have Google Docs yet, I'm using Google Drive, I have a folder or a collection that I've created for my templates. And within that template folder, you'll see that I have these items. This first item is my document that I'm using for the template. This is the spreadsheet that I'm going to be grabbing the data from, and I'll show you that in just a moment. And this additional folder within the folder is where I want my mail merged documents to end up. You'll see how all this works in just a few moments. Let's start by looking at my spreadsheet and the form. This is just a very simple example. If we look at the form, you'll see that I'm asking for a first name, a last name, their favorite kind of cookie, what state they live in, and their email address. So this is just for example, I'm sure you're going to come up with a much more creative and usable reason to use this mail merge feature. Here's the spreadsheet where my data will end up after somebody submits the form. So let's go ahead and try that. Just to show you that data shows up there. For some reason, Fred Flintstone always fills out my forms. All right, so when Fred submits his form data, all of his information shows up automatically in my spreadsheet. Now let's go back and take a look at the template that I've created. Creating the template for this Autocrat script is super easy. You can make up the data field names as you write your template. So here I've just uh, created a merge field name called first name. Now this is going to eventually correspond to the data in this first name column. All right, so thanks for filling out the form. It's interesting to learn that you like, and then I just used the word favorite here. Notice I did the double brackets at the beginning, double brackets at the end. This field will correspond with column D when we do the merge. And lastly, I'm just saying here, I wonder if everyone in the great state of state, and that will correspond with column E here, what state do you live in? You'll notice that I made the word state bold here and as I do that, as I merge the data into a document, it actually makes the state name bold. So that's a nice feature as well. And wrapping up our form here, we're saying thanks again, first name, last name for your contribution. So I have a form document ready to be used Let's go ahead and install that script into our spreadsheet so we can make our documents. Under the Tools menu of your spreadsheet, go to the Script Gallery and just do a search for Autocrat. And there it is. We're going to click Install and we'll wait a few moments for this script to be installed into our spreadsheet. Once done, you'll need to authorize the script. We'll just scroll down to the bottom here, click Authorize, and we can now run the script. All right, so this is exciting. You'll notice now that our spreadsheet has a new menu item, the Document Merge menu item. I'm going to go ahead and submit my form a few more times just so we have some additional data here.
Okay, so now we have three responses. This will make our demonstration a little more interesting. Now that I've installed the script, if I go to the document merge menu item and I'll launch this merge setup, we're very close to making our first merge document. That's going to create a tab in our spreadsheet called README, which will have some additional setup information for you if you'd like to read that. The first thing we need to do is determine which sheet from this spreadsheet contains our merge data. And that's going to all come from sheet one, where our form submissions ended up. So we'll leave that as it is. Now you're going to find out why I've created a special folder or collection for my merge documents. We have to select the collection that contains the document template. That is my merge templates folder. Now I have to choose the document to use as my template, and that's my favorite cookie template. Once I've done that, I can save those settings, and our first step of setup is done. This next step is like a filter. I can determine which records I want to include in my merge. For this example, we're just going to merge all three of the records that are in our spreadsheet. So I'm going to leave all of this blank. Here's where we map the fields from our template that we created to the columns in our spreadsheet. So I'm going to map that first name field that I created to the submitter's first name. I'm going to map their favorite cookie to that column. I'm going to map the state to the state that they said they live in. And I'm going to map their last name to the last name field. We'll save those mappings. All right, now here's where we get some powerful tools to use. All of the data from our spreadsheet is being offered to us here as variables that we can include in, say, an email or the name of the document that's get, that gets created as we perform the merge. I'm going to say that we want to save our merged files to Google Docs and I want to save them in my, the folder that I created called Merged Cookie Documents. Here I can, I need to determine a naming convention for the new files that will be created as we execute the merge. I have three records in my spreadsheet, that means three documents are going to be created. It's really handy to be able to use some of these variables in the naming convention of the document. So I'm going to use the first name variable and a space and the last name variable. And I'm going to name this favorite cookie. You'll see how this works in just a few moments. Now I can either create a Google Doc or a PDF when I run the merge. Um, PDF might be handy if you just want to easily email a document to somebody. The Google Doc might be more appropriate if you need to go into those documents and do some sort of annotation or adding some text to them. For right now, I'm going to just use this as, I'm going to save this as a Google Doc. You can elect to have links to the docs added to your spreadsheet if you want. I'm not going to do that for this example. We can also email the merged docs to somebody. This is why I grabbed the email address. If I use this variable, I can send an email to that person when I run the merge, and that will contain the document in the email to them. I'm not going to do that because I used made up email addresses, but just know that you can use these variables to create and compose an email message. Alright, I'm going to uncheck that. I think I am ready to go.
One thing I want, want to show you though is this awesome feature to trigger the merge on form submit. You can have the merge happen automatically as soon as somebody submits the form. I'm going to select that right now and I'll show you how that works in just a few moments. I'm going to save those settings and the exciting thing is about to happen. We're ready to run the merge. So I'm going to click run merge now. We'll wait a few moments for it to generate the new documents for the three records in my spreadsheet. And I get a notice saying it com completed successfully. Let's go back and look in our merge templates. I don't see anything here. This is the template that we use to create the merge documents. But remember, I told the script to save my merge documents into this folder. If we open that up, we now have three brand new documents. Notice how the names are in the title of the document. It's because we use the first name and last name variables in the naming convention. So as I open each of these documents up, you'll see that all of our data was merged in. The first name, the favorite cookie, the state in bold, and once again the first and last name included right there in the document. So amazingly simple and useful. I love this. Okay, so I told you that it's possible to have the script be triggered when somebody submits the form. Let's give that a try. We're going to go back to the live form. I'm going to submit the form one more time. And when I submit the form, that form data gets put into my spreadsheet. Okay, there's Roger Rabbit, but since I told the script to run anytime somebody submits the form, we should have that document already waiting for us that easily. So my hat's off to those good folks that created this script for us. Um, it's going to really change the way we do things at our school, and I hope you are able to make use of it as well. Thanks for watching.